To Istanbul now, where Kurdish activists have thrown Molotov cocktails and fireworks at police in protest over a government ban on the celebration of a traditional Kurdish holiday. And in Italy, the Turkish consulate was attacked by pro-Kurdish activists, also angry over the ban on celebrations. The Turkish authorities banned the Kurdish New Year festivities amid allegations of potential attacks by Kurdish militants. In some areas, people turned up to celebrate anyway, but were ultimately dispersed by police. And the uh, ban on festivities was imposed amid the crackdown on Kurdish regions of the country. The Turkish army's operation there is being criticized over a growing number of civilian casualties. And to make matters worse, residents in Kurdish areas of southeastern Turkey now also face the intimidation of special forces units, uh, the so-called Lions of Allah, wear black masks and have been accused of using heavy-handed tactics against civilians. It's also reported that many have non-Turkish accents, frequently speaking Arabic and chanting Islamic slogans. Here's RT's William Whiteman. These photos, obtained exclusively by RT, show threatening nationalistic Islamist slogans painted on the walls of the Kurdish town of Silvan. They appeared during the Turkish operations which took place there and were reportedly left by specific brigades going by the name of Eastul Atim, which translates from Arabic as Allah's Lions. With a troubling reputation, the group is widely feared by Kurdish citizens. The police here are not normal police of the state. They have long black beards and don't look like police at all. I don't believe they are actually police. With their long beards, they look more like Islamic State militants. Now take a look at this video, purportedly showing members of East Dullah celebrating an armed operation in the Kurdish town of Idil in Turkey's Cernak province. This doesn't seem like the behavior of regular government forces. Frequently accused of having links with ISIL, East Dulla are renowned in Turkey for their brutal techniques. They point guns at women and children. They force men to lie face down and then stamp on their hands, feet and backs. They know no law. Their faces are covered and no one even knows who they are. This quote was originally featured in an article published on the website of the Turkish newspaper Zaman. After control of Zaman was seized by the Turkish government on March 3rd, the article was removed. The main Turkish opposition parties, the CHP and HDP, have raised the issue in Parliament. Erdogan's ruling AKP party, however, has only agreed to investigate East Dulles racist graffiti and not the group themselves. William also recently travelled to southeast Turkey. He told me earlier what the locals there said about the uh, so-called uh, Lions of Allah. Let's just be clear here. I mean, these, um, uh, these guys are, are said to be uh, working directly in collusion with the uh, Turkish police. And now, uh, whether or not uh, to which level that is true, we don't know yet, because this is a very um, mysterious organization. There isn't very much information available about them at the moment. But one thing I can tell you for sure is that uh, people I spoke to in southeastern Turkey were very afraid of uh, special units of the police, as they called them, who uh, had uh, strong accents and uh, uh, long beards. These were said to be doing the most um, uh, violent uh, crimes, uh, most brutal uh, levels of violence against the civilian population there. We can take a listen to some of the things that were said now. 45 to 50 people were killed. They burned all of them. When we entered this basement, we found decapitated bodies. Did you say they were beheaded? Yes, their heads were cut off. Soldiers, Erdogan's soldiers, Islamic State, they shot with bullets. They used every weapon they had. It's obvious for us that the crimes against Kurds in Jizre are in no way different from the crimes ISIL is committing against Kurds in Syria and Iraq. Burning people alive in the basements is terrible barbarity. So this certainly does sound like um, uh, very extreme violent behavior and not the kind of behavior you would expect from regular government troops. Now, after you traveled to Jizre and, and, and the region there, southeastern Turkey, uh, we launched a petition to call for international human rights groups to, to call attention to these widespread claims of atrocities. How's that been coming along? 
Well, yes, so uh, we have uh, written to human rights organizations uh, three times now, um, submitting the evidence which um, uh, we filmed there in... Uh, in Diabaka and in uh, Jizra, uh, we can have a look at some of the responses now. Apologies, but we haven't seen this petition. We will be happy to comment on this once we issue more up-to-date research findings. We are still conducting our own work into these allegations. We will comment on the events in Jizra in due course. It's so hard for me to get you someone to give you a comment. I will send you that press release we issued back in February, and I'm sure you'll find something interesting in there. As far as Turkish good reason is concerned, there's basically nothing we can say. Now, of course, um, uh, this petition is, is of great importance. We, we're calling for a, an equal investigation into the loss of civilian life in southeastern Turkey, as there has been into in bombings in, 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 north, in the north of Turkey, in Ankara and Istanbul. Um, we want there to be justice for the civilians who are dying there in great numbers, from, uh, from what I gathered when I went there. I, I, around sort of 300 to 500, 600 people even um, were said to have been killed in Jizra alone. So, yeah, we want everyone to keep on signing the petition and keep Keep on sharing it on Twitter, on social media, and uh, sharing it with the uh, hashtag Justice for Kurds. Well, a week long curfew has just been lifted in the troubled Baglar district of the Kurdish city of Diyarbakir. Uh, Turkish soldiers have been fighting so called militants from the Kurdistan Workers' Party since the summer. Uh, Turkey says they are terrorists, and the operation against them will continue until they are rooted out. For the meantime, though, we are back in just a moment.